are those top tier gasolines worth the extra money? Will buying cheap gas ruin my engine? While e-free gas does give you better fuel efficiency, is that savings in fuel efficiency worth the extra money you're paying at the pump? <laughs> Welcome back to Budget Mechanic. Today we are talking about gasoline. Are you putting the wrong kind in your car? In this video, we're gonna cover the top questions about what gasoline you should be putting in your car. And make sure you stick around to the end because we are gonna introduce you to the contentious subject of e-free. So the first question, what is octane? You drive up to the gas station and you're presented with a few options, right? You've got your regular gas, your mid-grade, your premium, and they all have different numbers, like 89, 91, 93, etc. And if you're like me, for a while you just knew that the bigger number was more expensive, the premium costs more. But what does it actually mean for your car? So that octane number is just a rating of how stable the fuel is. So the higher octane gases they have adjusted at a molecular level to be able to withstand higher pressures before it explodes in your car. And the reason that this is important is now manufacturers are making cars and truck engines that run at a much higher compression. And if lower octane gas is used in them, it can explode before it's supposed to, and that'll create knocking and you can get engine damage and it's just not running at peak efficiency. They even make something called race gas, which is a fuel of an octane at like 100 to 120. For race cars that are so high performance and high pressure, they need the high octane in order to run properly. So that brings us to the question, which octane fuel should you be putting in your car? Now there's a few things to consider, but a good starting place is what does your manufacturer recommend? You can find that in your manual if you have it online, or one of the easier ways is oftentimes it'll be labeled right inside your gas door or on the gas cap itself. Now what if your car calls for regular gas, 87, but you put down the money and you put that premium gas in there? Does it give you any advantage? Well. The bottom line is your engine just wasn't designed to take advantage of that higher octane gas. So it is kind of a waste of money. On the flip side, what happens if your car is calling for premium gas and you're putting in regular 87? Well, like I said before, there's a chance that in a high performance engine that if you put regular gas in, it will combust too soon and create knocking. However, with more modern engines, with computers and knock sensors, the engine is able to adjust itself to use that, that regular gas and not cause any harm. Keep in mind though, that when the engine does that, while it's keeping itself from being damaged, it is gonna run less optimally with less horsepower, which is fine if that's not what you're looking for. So what some people will do is for regular round town driving in their big truck, they'll get the cheaper regular gas. But then when it's time to tow a big trailer or drive over the mountain pass, put in the premium gas and you take full advantage of all the horsepower. Just wanna interrupt for a second and say, if you're liking this video, take a moment and subscribe to Budget Mechanic Leave us a comment and sign up for those alerts. A common question is, will putting premium gas in your car increase gas mileage? Well, remember that that octane rating is about how soon gas explodes in your engine. It's not about efficiency. To illustrate, let's go back to the race car example. Those cars are using some of the highest octane gas available, but as you can imagine, they're probably some of the least fuel efficient cars running. That's because the octane is about getting peak performance not necessarily efficiency. And they're only getting that peak performance with engines that are designed for that fuel. So if you have a car that's asking for regular 87 octane gas and you're putting 93 premium in it, it's just a waste of money because your engine is not able to take advantage of that performance. Now, some people swear they get higher gas mileage by running premium gas in their car. And while I'm not here to argue with them, I would say even if that is true, premium gas is way more expensive. So is doing that actually worth it? Our next question, will buying cheap gas ruin my engine? Does it matter which gas station I go to? Generally, gas is all coming from the same place. But when you go from station to station, brand to brand, what makes it different is the additives in that gas. Now, the EPA has a requirement that companies put in a minimum number of additives and cleaners to keep your engine running efficiently and cleanly. But the big boys have come up with their own secret concoctions that they put in that are go over and above the EPA requirements. And that's where you get your top tier gases. Now you will be paying premium prices for those fuels, but they claim to make your engine run super clean and super efficiently, get more gas mileage, et cetera, et cetera. Are those top tier gasolines worth the extra money? Well, if your only priority is getting the best possible performance and efficiency out of your engine, then that's probably the gas for you. But if you're hoping to save some money, going with the budget brand fuel is probably just fine. Because remember, 
even the budget brand fuels have the minimum EPA requirements of additives and cleaners. And if you're worried about missing out on all those fancy additives from the top tier fuels, you can go to the auto parts store and get a bottle of fuel cleaner or additive and put it in your tank every once in a while. Now, before you leave me all your angry comments, I am aware that there have been some instances in the past with budget brand gas having issues, but they're pretty rare. And if it were to happen to you, it would be pretty noticeable in the performance of your car. At the end of the day, no matter which gas you choose, you just need to go get a full tank of it, drive it. If you don't notice any major differences, then that gas is probably fine for your car. So the next question, is ethanol free gas better than regular gas? Ethanol is an additive made of corn that they've been putting in gas for decades and decades. I'm not gonna get into the myriad of reasons why that is, but in recent years, ethanol free gas has become more readily available at more and more gas stations. So we're actually given the option. Now the main argument for e-free gas is the increased fuel economy. So you get better miles per gallon with ethanol free gas. And there's really good evidence that this is true. Additionally, the ethanol in gas actually attracts water over time. And because it's like an alcohol sugar, it will, when it dries up, clog up parts of your fuel system. With e-free gas, you don't get that. In addition, many people say that ethanol is just bad for your car in general, and that it burns too hot in your cylinders. Now on the other side of the argument, while e-free gas does give you better fuel efficiency, there is the question, is that savings in fuel efficiency worth the extra money you're paying at the pump? Because e-free gas does sometimes cost considerably more than regular gas. The issue with ethanol uh, attracting water and gumming up your fuel system is only really an issue if you're letting your car sit for months at a time. If you're driving it regularly, it's not gonna be a problem. Also, ethanol has been around for a long time. So car manufacturers are making engines with ethanol in mind. So if you're driving a relatively modern car, it's made to handle ethanol. In conclusion, just like when choosing the brand of your gas, choosing between ethanol free and ethanol gas comes down to trying it on your own vehicle. If you find that you get significant miles per gallon increase by using the e-free, maybe that's the gas for you. But for most people, if you're driving your car regularly, the most economical choice is gonna be regular gas with ethanol. Let us know in the comments what you think about e-free gas and make sure you check out the rest of our amazing DIY car content right here.